Hey guys, I'm here with Bob Griswold. Uh, Bob is the owner of Ready-Made Resources, and that's where we're hanging out right now. Bob, what's Ready-Made Resources? Oh gosh, Ready-Made Resources. First of all, we've been in business about 22 years. We started the business after we were in Florida at Hurricane Andrew, and we saw that people, after like a natural disaster, did not have any provisions in their home, and they were basically had to line up and go get something from the government to take care of themselves. And I just never liked that idea. So uh, based on what our family did, we started putting food aside. Other people asked me, how did, how did I do it? I started telling them I saw a business opportunity that I really enjoyed doing. And that was 22 years ago. So, Not bad. So yeah. it's emergency preparation. And right now, if you could see around the room, uh, we got all kinds of books. So increase your knowledge base and lots of food. And the thing we're going over today is really food stuff. So we'll take a look at all this, this joy and tactical gear and night vision and medical supplies, water filtration. I just bought a big Berkey water filter. Like I went all out guys. I got like the good you stuff nice with one. the, I got the nice one. I didn't skimp, I didn't get just this type. So I'm actually buying this today, a uh, water filtration system. So I can put it in like my uh, uh, body armor and war belts mm -hmm. and EDC bags and filters. How much water? Uh, each one of these will do up to about 100,000 gallons. That's awesome. It also has the ability to back flush it, so if it gets a little dirty, you can clean it out and good to go with it. Uh, that's the best value you can get for a portable type water filter. That's cool. So I can have all my like gear on and Absolutely. if I and run dry, I can drink straight out of a stream or fill up a water bottle or uh, fill, uh, hook it up and filter it through my Camelback as well. So anyway, I, and this isn't what the video is about, but I'm just, here's my little shopping section. I'm getting some Salox from him today. I'm getting a bunch of heirloom seeds for growing. My wife's into gardening now, some decompression needles. And anyway, I just had a fun time just going through your shop and looking at stuff. But really what we're talking about today is food stuff, stored food. Right now, uh, me and my wife, we went on a spending spree not long ago. I've got a little bit of mountain house. So a lot of times I'll take that camping with me uh, or I'll do this stuff. This is be prepared. Uh, essentials. This is butter buttermilk pancake mix. I can't talk today. <laughs> uh, real cool. And we've got just a closet full of this. Probably enough food for uh, our family for maybe four months uh, if we were eating like kings. Six months if we were uh, roughing it a little bit more. So we've got some food preparation. We don't do this in like a really dorky way. There's an undercurrent as soon as you say as soon as you say, uh, sorry, I just, man, I'm getting tightened up. We were out <laughs> running and gunning all night last night, doing some night vision uh, fun stuff. Yeah, a so, lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. So a little tight today, feeling good though. So um, anyway, we don't nerd out on the prepper stuff. A lot of times that has a negative connotation, so I shouldn't have even said the word. Nobody's wearing uh, tinfoil hats or anything. It's just, it's uh, kind of a fun hobby to stock out your man cave in case the apocalypse comes tomorrow. Uh, but uh, it can be a little bit fun, and it's just a generally good idea to prepare for who knows what could happen. So anyway, we're going down that vein, and we're not taking it too seriously in the tinfoil hat kind of sense, but, the, but uh, you want to have the good stuff. So Bob's going to educate us a little bit on all the major brands that are out there. He carries all this stuff, so it doesn't really matter what you go for, and I'm going to just kind of lead him into some questions. So right now, what are the big names that you got? What are well, we going to be looking at today? Okay, we're going to be looking at Mountain House. Mountain House comes in these number 10 cans. Nice thing about it is when you use it, uh, you don't use the whole can at one time, unless you have a big family. You can put the lid back on it and reseal it that way to keep it uh, to keep the moisture away from it. The big enemy of all these freeze-dried foods are moisture. It's called very hydroscopic, and that means it'll suck water right out of the air and it can get uh, hard real quick. So you want to make sure you use the resealable lids if you've opened the can and not used it all up. All this stuff we're going to be looking at, what would be the shelf life of it if it was left sealed in the buckets or the cans? Uh, it, most of it's rated for 25 to 30 years, so it's going to be around for a long time. And I've actually tried some Mountain House after about 18 years, and it's still very good. Very good. Okay, cool. So Mountain House is one? Yes, sir. You got my stuff, the Be Prepared stuff uh, as well. Uh, we already looked at this guy. What else have you got? Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to point out, this is what's called a dehydrated food, which means you're going to have to add water and then cook it. Uh, freeze-dried foods, on the other hand, which the rest of them will be freeze-dried, all you have to do is use hot water, which is going to mean you're going to save a lot of energy, uh, both your physical labor, if time's important to you, and uh, energy to cook the food. So you can just add hot water and have a meal here and not have to do anything else. Very good, too. And I've eaten a lot of Mountain House and the rest of them, and they're very good foods. 
So, um, so, so what they, I got sucks. Well, you said you got some Mountain House. So it happens. Yeah, I know, sucks. but I got lots of that stuff. Well, That's not get, as good. Well, you ragging on my it, food, it, man? It's, well, it's actually going to be good. It's just going to take you a little longer to make it. Blah. All right. Well, whatever. What what else am I looking at? Okay. I like this stuff. Yeah, I like so, it too. Well, yeah, but you're dissing my stuff, so whatever. <laughs> All right. What else have you got? Okay. Well, the rest of them are going to come in buckets, and I like the bucket approach for several reasons. First of all, you can stack these. They stack really nice. So you can see it's all interlocking here. So if I buy another bucket like this, it's got all interlock and stack up nice. So it's gonna be economy of space, which is a lot and for people that live in a smaller home, that's gonna be very, very important, economy of space. Okay. The other thing is you open this bucket up as, like I said, it's hydroscopic. This, the food is not in this bucket per se. It's in resealable Mylar bags in here with a Ziploc thing on it. So once you open the lid, you can take the food out that you want, open the Mylar up, seal it back. The bucket okay. is just for protection. That's all it's for. Um, again, with Numana, one of my favorites now. They have, I think, really hit what America wants. America's interested in diet and quality of food. So you're looking at non-GMO, non-genetically modified food. You're looking at organic and even people with, um, you know, that have uh, gluten sensitivities, they make a line of food that are gluten-free. And more and more Americans are having gluten, need, needing a gluten-free diet. So Numana really addresses that very, very well. I'm very pleased with this product. We have actually started putting a lot of this into our family preparations. Okay, very good. So cool. um, you can, most food supplies, you have to really be careful because people call servings and they want to make you think it's a meal and a serving is not a meal. So you have to look at the calorie content of a food supply that advertises itself as a year. Most of our food supplies are right around 2,000 calories a year. And that's what uh, the new man is, right? At 2,000 calories. So you're going to be eating about... 2,000 calories per year doesn't sound very good. Well, I mean, 2,000 calories per day per year. Oh, okay. oh sorry. Yeah, okay. It looked like a Holocaust patient, if you knew that. <laughs> Worse than that. Oh. Um, so it's 2,000 calories... That's probably not a funny joke. Like, respect to the Holocaust. Yes, yes. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Anyway, go yeah. ahead. But anyway, well, I mean, history's yeah. filled with people who've had to go on those kind of diets, and they sure. you don't fare well. Right. But anyhow, so it's 2,000 calories per day for a year which again, uh, be careful when you buy a food supply. I've seen food supplies stuck with lots of sugary products, which you were saying something about the orange drink thing where you had a full like year supply of well, food I mean, and then you actually opened it, it up. It was like and 24 cans, those cans of orange drink and I added it up and that was like a third of the calories that they were saying were cheap, in the food supply. Cheap, cheap. So it's not good enough to just look at prices and say year supply, here's this brand, year supply, this brand, oh, the less expensive one, I'll go with that because that's kind of, yeah, or it even, would be my tendency when you just don't know, you don't know. Uh, or even calories, because again, I can I can knock up the calorie count very easily by just adding a lot of sugar inside of a, a food supply. Okay. All these brands I'm mentioning are well-rounded. These are designed okay. by dietitians, so you're going to get a well-rounded food supply. Also, a lot of things, a lot of sometimes people don't think about are like food fatigue. Okay. You know, if you eat the same thing over and over and over again, even if it's filet mignon, you're going to get tired of it after a while. Yeah. So they break up their uh, meals into, you know, a couple dozen different meals so you can rotate them and do what you need to do to them. So you're not going to sure. get that food fatigue that you would get if you were just drinking that orange drink every day That's or right. eating one or two different meals. Really, so. Like the old sea rations in the military, which I, that was way before my time. Uh, guys are just... Well, they did. They Terrible. actually did study. Yeah. They actually stopped eating the sea rats and would go and eat native food because huh. they got just food fatigue from That's it. That's funny. So. Well, you know, now you got the cool 24 menu MREs, and they <laughs> like you got like milkshakes and yeah. pack of Skittles in there, chicken tetrazzini. I think it's number 23. I ate over a thousand MREs in my lifetime, easily over a thousand, and I think good stuff. They have good gotten stuff. much better. So, right? Way I better. But I, I know what you mean about the food fatigue as well, and a lot of times probably. That was more of like the last thing that I was thinking of. Uh, can, so we've got Mountain House, we've got Be Prepared, we've got Numana. What are some of the other brands? Okay. And then we'll circle around and okay. uh, kind of go into these more, do a price comparison another, and uh, talk uh, other stuff. What else? I'm sure people have seen this. This is another popular brand. It is Wise Food Company. Again, you're going to get a balance of different meals so that you're not going to develop that food fatigue we talked about. It's freeze-dried, so it's very easy to prepare. And you're going to get it for their year's supply. You're going to get about 2,000 calories a day, which is important. That is our, what I would say, our threshold level. As you start to do more physical labor, you would need to address that and add more calories to it. So cool. 2,000 calories a day would be my baseline of what I'd be looking for per person 
for per day, not not including children, which would eat less, or even the elderly elderly that mm -hmm. would eat less. But a working woman or man in their productive years are going to eat about two thousand calories a day. Awesome. So. There you go. Very good. And I, I put Bob to work or you put your workers to work. But yes, I did. In, in terms of uh, what we wanted to look at is I'm like, don't give me price per year or price per serving even. Give me kind of a baseline. So when I look at all this stuff and they've got different metrics and, and you know, like the whole orange drink kind of that shady, was shameful. That's shadiness. Give me something real where I can really evaluate these uh, things in terms of nutrition ease of cooking so it's not requiring a ton of water and a ton of time and energy and that's another thing I'd like to talk about is uh, you know heating this stuff uh, as well but uh, kind of look at it as price per year and price per month and you talked about heating it I saw and we actually made one I was gonna bring it out here uh, all we did was get a quart can we bought it down at Home Depot like a paint quart, quart paint yeah. can we would take a roll of toilet paper pull the center of it out put the toilet paper in the can pour isopropyl alcohol in there and it makes like a big sterno stove it's very effective for cooking from, them? No. um mark grab me a a quart can do, do, yeah do you think and uh, other things are you got little stoves around here we have as little well. stoves what, kind of the best uh, well um you're sitting on this but again we like we like sort of like a coleman stove that has several burners the nice thing about these is you can hook them up to the bigger propane cylinders and that way you have the ability to cook several. You can substitute. If you have a little stove and you're cooking for you know, three or four family members, it can take time to boil that much water. Okay. When you have a Coleman type stove, this is made by Primus, which is a top Primus, of the line. Top Primus of the line. Firehole 200. Yeah. All we would do with that, again, we would take this, shove the toilet paper in there, fill it up with alcohol. It takes a quart of alcohol to fill a quart can, even with a roll of toilet paper in it. You like this and it'll burn for a couple hours. Yeah and it cooks but, your food? Well, but yeah, but what if you're like cooking beans, for instance, and you use all your toilet paper cooking the beans, <laughs> and then you need toilet paper because you just up ate a lot of beans. No, we don't carry the toilet papers, but you have to stock up ah. on it. <laughs> you like that? That was a dumb joke, yeah, right? Yeah, well, it, hey, it, works. Gotcha. it works, it works, it works. <laughs> all right, uh, what other but brands? I, I would challenge people to do that. It's extremely effective, and the nice thing about alcohol, which you always have to be considering when you're cooking inside, it does not make carbon monoxide. Ah. Very good. So, so, do you mean rubbing alcohol or like like isopropyl? You can use either, but uh, if you're going to use Jack Daniels, it's going to be a little more expensive to, to make the stove. Roger if that. you're using isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, you buy at Walmart. You can get a quart of it for a couple bucks. So you can make one of these for less than five dollars. And the nice thing is, is the alcohol starts to burn. You never want to burn the toilet paper. You just keep adding more and more alcohol, and it just keeps burning, and it will boil water within a few minutes. Wow, very so, cool. Awesome. Uh, great, great, and great little thing to do. So. Awesome. Challenge your guys to go ahead Very and good. do it. That's what. That's right. Uh, okay, so we've got Wise, Be Prepared, Mountain House, Numana. Is there anything else? One more. And this is for people who would want to supplement their food supply with more fruits and vegetables. Uh, Linden Farms actually does a really good job of doing all kinds of fruit and vegetables. I mean, this package has peaches, apples, strawberries, grapes, raspberries, and bananas in it. And again, the bucket is just the protector inside their resealable mylar bag. So if you want to buy your, your supply and then you wanted to add some what I would call psychological foods, the kind of foods that you look forward to eating, you could buy this and just add it maybe once a week into your diet and have something to look forward to. Okay. So this is really good for that. Now I've opened this stuff up. If I open one of these buckets up in here, it will be gone very quickly. Okay, very good. So, so uh, let's say I am uh, crazy wealthy, money's not a big concern for me, and I just want the best of the best. What are you going to point me to? I'm going to point you to Numana. Okay. Well, let's say I am dead, deep, deadbeat broke, and I just want some food, and I don't care about any nutritional value. I hate nutrition. Give me, <laughs> give me the cheapest thing. Go to, to the sugar drink guy. Go to the sugar drink guy. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, so I, and, I, I and don't want to sell there. it to somebody. And I, so I, you're not going to carry that. No, I'm really not going to carry that. I'm not going to carry that because I would feel bad if people, when they need this food, they go to it and they all of a sudden they went, you know, okay. that guy really did me wrong. Let's say, okay, so uh, you're not answering that because you don't carry something like that. Let's say, all right, I'm not real serious into this. I don't want to go year supply. I don't have that kind of budget. But let's say uh, just a little three-day feed my family kind of emergency kit. What are you going to point me I'm to? I'm going to point you to like a mountain house. They make a 72-hour pack. There's one right there. 
voila, uh, less than $100. You can get this 72 hours, and it's for one person, so you get three days worth of food. Uh, you can spend about 50 bucks on this, and you, this stuff will last 25 years. You throw this in your car, put it anywhere, put it in your office, okay. so you have food. Um, you have to have a uh, cooking source as well for this, though? Cooking source, but keep in mind, a candle will boil enough water to make this stuff. So okay. any kind of heat source at all is going right. to make enough water to do it. But you don't have to have hot water. If you get hungry, you're going to want to eat something. Even cold water will make it work. So it's just like a little 72-hour emergency meal kit. Put it in your car. Have it somewhere in a closet. You can get something like that, and you're saying go mountain house. Right. We've, I, we've seen like in New York when the power goes off, and people find themselves maybe having to walk home. They could stick a couple of those in a little bag if it took them a couple of days. We to... recently had a hurricane come mm -hmm. through. You know, Georgia and Southeast Georgia, we lost power for a few days and we had the Coleman stove out with the propane tanks. Looks and, great. Uh, yeah, our charcoal grill out back and we're cooking all kinds of stuff and we started opening up and eating all this stuff and it was really good food. Yes, it's it a be prepared food, at least. That, and I've eaten Be Prepared and Mountain House. Wise is sending me some food and Numan is sending me some food to sample out. Uh, if it's bad, you'll hear, f no, <laughs> I'm sure it's good because he recommended it. And uh, I'm really easy to please too. Yeah. I mean, I've lived off MREs for years. <laughs> so uh, anyway, you I mentioned know. MREs. I remember my son was in the Marines, the sausages, they called them the five fingers five of death. Five fingers of death. If you, if you, I would have finished <laughs> that love for that you. It's I love ecumenical. That All the military knows exactly the five fingers of death. Yes. Fantastic. All right, cool. So uh, let's go for, if you compare all of these major brands and you say, okay, 2,000 calories a day for a year, what's it going to cost regardless of the brand? Okay, so per person, you're going to be looking between 12 and $14 a day, which is really pretty cheap to get 2,000 calories of right. quality food a day. Go to the grocery store. You go, you go to McDonald's and buy a hamburger, french fries, and a Coke, and you're into it for 10 bucks. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you're going to eat a 2,000 calorie diverse meal for Three a day. Months. For twelve to fourteen bucks. Okay, so twelve to fourteen bucks. Do the math for me. So what does that equal per year for me for two thousand calories a day? Okay, well you're looking right about five thousand dollars between forty five hundred and five thousand dollars for one person for an entire year's worth of food. Um, okay. The the fourteen dollar day one is the new mana, and for those who are gluten intolerant, yeah. they make a whole line of gluten intolerant uh, for people who are gluten intolerant. So it's uh, gluten free. On this channel, we try to be as tolerant as we can. So. <laughs> We don't. Outstanding. Yeah. So. So and really. it's diverse too because you have, so diversity, you have diversity. You have diversity in the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So gluten and and my, I've got gluten allergies in my family as yes, well. Like legitimate. It's not like a made up disease kind of thing. Of, uh, yeah. Yeah. We need a whole lot of toilet paper when <laughs> gluten is eaten on, in, with some of my family members. So uh, non-GMO, organic. Yeah. Non-GMO, uh, organic. No um, gluten. That's new manna. So I have that. Uh, so I'm assuming this one's going to be more expensive than the other yeah, ones the, because it's, it is. But still, you're, how much more expensive? Okay. Well, um, so if if wise right here, this is going to be right somewhere twelve dollars a day. So per this person. is going to be about twelve, yeah, twelve bucks a day per person. And this for is going to be about fourteen dollars a day. So okay. it's not that much. So this is about five grand a year for this, or the be prepared, or the mountain house, or the Lin, Linden, Linden Farms. Linden Farms I would well. use for supplementing an existing one year food supply. Okay. If I wanted to add more fruit and vegetables into that, which I think is important to do. So, so these are uh, all these other brands though, Mountain House, Be Prepared, Wise. Uh, these are that's gonna be about brands. five grand and this one's gonna be? My favorite. Okay, your favorite and it's gonna be a little over five grand. No, it's not gonna be much more. I think we're like at $5,200. Okay. And so this is the real one you're recommending? This is the one I recommend. Are you gonna hate on me if I go with another brand? Not at all. You're gonna be that you guy? You know, when you get hungry, I mean, I'd like to eat a good diet, but I'll eat, yeah. if I get hungry, I mean, I'll. All right, well, cool. Well, I haven't tested it out yet and I plan to, so Numana is the one that he's really This is like at. a grab and go bucket right here. So this is 76 servings right here. And it's got good assortment of stuff. I'm not just yeah. orange drinks, so I've got Mac and cheese, pasta alfredo, cheddar broccoli soup, pasta primavera, enchilada beans and rice, hearty soup with pasta, not just soup with pasta, hearty. hearty soup with pasta. Uh, you gotta love the words. 
<laughs> Classic. Ch- Don't church it up. It's soup, all right? <laughs> no, hearty soup with pasta. Yeah, it looks good. I know when I cook it, it won't look that good. Uh, but tastes, that's everywhere you go. Good. So Numana is the way to go. Uh, very cool. Uh, and uh, if somebody wants to get any of these brands, where can they go to do so? Well, they can call, go to our website, readymaderesources.com. I'll put a link below. So any of these things you're interested in, it'll be a link in the description. And we're one of the very, very few stores that handle this thing. Most of them are online only. They okay. can actually come to East Tennessee, come see our homestead here. Come visit our store. They could stand in this spot. This spot. And be like, this is where the magic happened. This is where this the magic happened. This was the spot. Absolutely. You'll we'll, mark it. Yeah, we'll build a mar- monument. Yeah, we're going to build a little foot thing on the ground. So you know? dumb. Crime scene thing. You know? Very good. Uh, and would you do you receive phone calls as well that like somebody calls and maybe they want to talk about, hey, this whole facility you're in is solar powered. They are wanting to get solar powered. Would you mentor folks and allow them Absolutely. to answer their questions like you're doing for me as well? I, I, I enjoy doing that. I really okay. do. Great. So if people call at 800-627-3809, I'll spend as much time with them as they need. I want. I really do want people to get what they need. I want to direct them in the right path okay. so they're just not wasting their money. Very good. And um, so if they call, they don't have to feel like they have to buy something. If they want to call and ask questions, I'll gladly answer their questions but don't be like super cheap if you go to a coffee shop to sit for two hours you got to buy something right well that's always helps. that's just etiquette so yes. if you call them like five times and you don't buy something you're a dirt bag you need to buy something you jerk <laughs> i'm, say that he I'm here and i'm buying <laughs> stuff i'm buying stuff You're trying to give me stuff i'm like no 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 i'm gonna any of it would have do the right. right thing but uh really appreciate your time and what you're doing and uh and I'll tell you what, if people call and they mention Warrior Poet, I will even throw in some free samples for them. So if they buy... If there they, you go. You're welcome, guys. If they buy some of that new manner or anything, I'll throw in some free samples for them. But they have to mention Warrior Poet. Okay, And they can good. do that in the comments section. Awesome. All right. Well, cool. There you go. Hey, Bob, thanks so much. Yes, really sir. appreciate it. Thank We're going to make some more videos about emergency preparedness. We've already done one on radio stuff and we plan on doing some more radio stuff and who knows, maybe some energy or water filtration, but we're going to go ahead and And I told you that shortly after we made that video on amateur radio, my son and I were actually out in our truck. We found an injured person high up in the mountain with cell phones didn't work and we were able to call down with our uh, amateur radios and bring an ambulance up there and this guy was in very bad condition. Look at that. That's cool, huh? How about that? Thanks, Bob. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. See you guys. I'm going to say something. Don't worry about it. I wonder if they're still watching. I wouldn't be. <laughs> Turn it off! <laughs> See you then. No, seriously, not turning it off. These jerks. <laughs> <laughs> but it is good. It's good. It's good. <laughs>